Today I'm going to show you how you can get full penetration when welding thick metal. So this is a butt joint of two pieces of steel, put it together, and let's say you're using a welder that, at whatever amperage you're using, can get one-eighth of penetration into the steel. So that's about a one-eighth penetration into this diagram of steel. So to increase the amount of steel that gets welded from each piece, you have to increase the surface area that you're welding. So if you grind a groove into the space you need to weld, and your welder is still only penetrating an eighth inch of the steel, when you remake the weld, ideally you should be able to get that much more penetration, and it's holding about half the steel of both of the work pieces. But then you still have half of the steel that still has no weld on it. Then what you do, if you're able to, is flip the piece over, grind another groove into the back side, and then remake the same weld you did on this side. And now you have two pieces of steel that are completely welded together. I have two pieces of 5 8 inch steel with a groove ground into both pieces. I'm going to weld those together with 7018 electrode and then flip it over, grind a groove until I see base material on this side of the pieces and then do the same weld again. I'm going to preheat along that weld with an oxyacetylene torch just to make it easier not to get lack of fusion between either of these pieces of metal. And now that both of these pieces are welded on this side, I'm going to take it to the other side. I'm going to grind out the back side until I see that first weld I put in. And then I'm going to bevel each piece like I did on the first side. And once I have that side beveled, I'm going to start welding that side together. And ideally, you want these pieces to be clamped down on both sides so that when you do make these welds and then go to flip it over, it's not bent like it is here. And now that I have that weld finished, the steel is completely welded together. Minus the ends, and if you needed to get those completely full, you could just take a grinder, grind out a little U into that, and then put some weld in that. If you have any questions about this process, or questions about this type of welding in general, let me know down in the comments.